What's a pipe hob? Pipe hobs are subspecies of hob that are known for making homes inside tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear no false face and are much smaller than most hobs. What? Let's play Home Safety Hotline. Hello and welcome to Hula New Play Short Indie Horror Games, although sh shortish, you know, because this will be a couple of episodes. Um, yeah, I had this on my on my um, wish list for quite a while. This game came out on January 16th, so it's not a long time, but already ha everyone has played it because I think this is the first like breakthrough game of this year of the new year i think the really the first one where everyone's like oh this is exciting so this is analog horror um but also this as i see it is desktop horror so analog horror is um well first of all the term analog horror doesn't make sense because it usually involves digital technology but in general, it describes horror games that are a little bit older. So think of, you know, the old Windows age where you still had internet that made noises like beep, 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 you know, where you couldn't have a phone call and the internet on at the same time. And also where the computer took like six hours to boot up, you know. So that's analog horror, which doesn't make sense because analog means not digital, you know. But computers, digital my nature so it's really it's hurting my heart that this is a description of a genre that should know better you know but okay but as a desktop horror game that you know that's my description and that's the right one because desktop horror is basically when you uh, either play a horror game or see a horror movie because there's quite a few that are really good out there um, as well as some thrillers uh, where you see it basically just from the perspective of a desktop or a mobile phone. So um, there's been Simulacrum, the game from, from the same studio, all the Simulacrum and Simulacra games. They're basically desktop horror, well not desktop, but you know mobile, where you just have the, yeah, the screen and that's basically it. And you also have a lot of desktop horror when you, you log in in a computer, you know, that's the, what you see. And then you can click around it and see into the folders and whatnot. So, um, yeah, this was developed by Night Signal Entertainment, um, and the tagline is Hearing noises, seeing things, call home safety hotline. Our operators are standing by, waiting to give you the answers you need to protect your home from all manner of pests and household hazards. And if you have this, and this is basically the screen of the game, you know, the basic where you click yourself through, then that's desktop horror or a desktop game if it's not a horror genre. Okay, let's go to the mailbox first. Why did I say mailbox? <laughs> like I'm a Swedish Muppet. <laughs> okay, SHS corporate welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the home safety hotline family. Oh, yes. Co yeah, I know it myself. I work in marketing, so I know we like to call colleagues family. Anyways, we are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder role. <laughs> your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. All right. Um, subject line notice video files on desktop. Uh, attention call team. Due to an error with our archi archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. Well, maybe I will, maybe I won't. What's that? Reset weekly progress does not affect options or unlocks. No, no. What do we have here? Oh, that's cool. Use dyslexia font. Oh, I love that. Accessibility. Oh, that's so nice. Credits. Oh, this is... <laughs> I 
I love this. It really looks like the old computers. It really does. Oh man, that brings back a lot of memories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. It's actually true. Hazards such as house fires. Yes. Flooding. Mm hmm. Black mold. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. Metamorphosis. Possibly. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. Like that they just threw that in. Okay. Yeah, just turning into a monster. I mean, everyone knows someone, right? At least. Okay, 555 five, five, home safety. All right. Mm. Oh, that's the television commercial. Okay. Uh, what's the NSE Discord? Oh, it's a it's a new window. It's a new window. It opens the actual game developers uh, Discord. All right. Monday. Oh, all right. <laughs> Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. Bop. Oh, this is so cool. Phobia toggles. Oh, let's see. Arachnophobia, fear of spiders. Entomophobia, fear of insects. Nyctophobia, fear of dark. Trypophobia, fear of holes. Uh, scopophobia, fear of being watched. Did not know that, uh, yeah. Claustrophobia, fear of tight spaces. And cynophobia, fear of dogs. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 hi. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. I'm not yawning because I'm uh, bored. That is a myth, you know, actually. it's. I think science is still not quite sure why people yawn, but it has nothing to do with being bored. So, you know. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we get new uh, entries accessible. Bed bugs. Ugh. Bed bugs are small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals and their tendency to inhabit sleeping areas of the home. Homeowners infested with bed bugs often report itchiness and sometimes a delayed onset of rashes. Ugh. Bed bugs are not... Oh, 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 shit, 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 shit. Hi. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Uh, put on hold. Please hold. Okay. And now I can check it out. It could be bed bugs, um, but we didn't find anything about weird stuff in the kitchen. Um, dangerous humans, also known, spread. Pro okay, in the wood, cockroaches, maybe. Ooh. Similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's cockroaches, probably. Ugh. <sighs> I don't, I'm not phobic, but still, you know. <laughs> House spider, mice. No, no, let's go with uh, cockroaches. Let's see. I'm at the, I've just started, so I can make uh, mistakes, right? Sending info to client. Info successfully sent to client, good job. Was, did I, did I do good? And I guess we're starting with, oh, and we get new stuff, okay. And obviously, it will probably get weirder and weirder. That is such a cool idea. Oh. <laughs> okay. Gopher. Oh. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. 
Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... E- 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 you know? It, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. That sounds like mice, probably. Put on hold. Please hold. Maybe termites? Uh, small holes and drywall, squeaky floorboards. Yeah, but she's not um, hearing those, I mean, when she's walking on them. And garbage spills, clattering sounds. No, no. Maybe mice? Mice. Um, sounds of squeaking. Yeah, yeah. That could probably be it. And they do like, uh, ba well, no. What was it? Uh, the top of the house, not the basement, you know. Basically, the the, <laughs> the opposite direction of the basement. Alright, I like that it starts super soft. I really enjoy myself, this is cool. Alright. I also, I kind of want to send in a wrong thing, so I know what happens when I send in the wrong thing. Oh, not the bees! Matriarchal flying insects known to build large hive structures in high places. Also, I think it's really interesting um, that you actually get like proper household solutions. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess <laughs> what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Dude, I don't... Please I think hold. it's raccoons, but I don't want to tell you, because you sound like you will shoot them. And look at it. Look at it. Garbage spills. Uh, spreading diseases, feces can contain deadly parasites, which if accidentally inhaled or ingested? Accidentally. Well, inhaled, yes, but ingested. Well, kids, maybe, if you touch it. I don't know. I don't know how... Well, you never know. I wonder if the on hold option is timed, but I don't wanna... Okay, so I guess it's raccoons. It could be a gopher. It's a gopher, probably. No, it's a mo- it's a It- the gopher- is a gopher the mole? Yes. I know them as moles. Okay. Hi. Oh, hey! Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that, uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. I was okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. That wasn't. Oh, we got you on black mold. Yeah, that's really dangerous. What can you do again with regular cleaning supplies and maintenance? Yeah, yeah. Um, chloride works really well but you need to be very careful and have like windows open and everything because that can, it can it can actually kill you if it's too much if you inhale it you know hey do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something my good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there looking like a rainforest over here my kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it can you guys Send some guys up to get this done. Tim, what? Put on hold. Please hold. Wait, maybe. Uh, I mean, what does help? I don't. Uh, what did I do there? So gophers are not the same as moles. Okay, I think I got it. But I still managed to... Can I just say... Go away? <laughs> I mean, what would help? Raccoon? Probably not. Maybe a mole. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Tim, actually, you know... 
I wish you would just leave your kid alone because you sound like a huge asshole. Your shift is ended. You have reached the end of your scheduled work session for today. Please clock out, clock out below. Accuracy 50%. That's not a lot. That is actually abysmal. That's really bad. Oh well. It's my first day. Can only get worse. Monday. Complete your first day at home safety hotline. Yeah, I did that. Badly. 50%. And that was like the, the softballs, right? Oh, that's really bad. Quit before it's too late. I read that like, quit before tits too late. <laughs> Anyways. Um, you are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. Okay, Mike. How did you type this? It feels like this is more elaborate and exhausting than typing it properly. But maybe that's just me. Um, any cool new videos you want to share with me? No, okay. Well, maybe once I nail my assignments. And then I can log out and then maybe it saves my... What is it? There we go. This is such an amazing idea. It is a beautiful idea. I love it. It's it's fantastic. Carpenter ants. Are that the big ones that can bite? Uh, are dangerous, but they are known to bite when threatened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, according to this, everyone has diseases like gophers. Never heard that. Moles? What? Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Hmm. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not right. to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. Okay. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the client that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Hmm. She sounds like she can sound really nice, but she can also be really, really, really horrible to people. Stair slug. Hi, stair slug. Stair slugs are large dog sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on steps or other household inclines. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hops. Oh, I wish I could, but yeah, we can actually run on hold. Thank hey, you Karen. again. That's strike two with you people. First you tell me there's nothing. Then you send me the wrong information. I did what your info package said to do, and now there's even more critters in my yard. They're all staring at me now. They want me to... They want me to climb inside the tunnel. I... I must go inside. I must pay for my sins. Oh, sorry, Hang. Yeah, I I couldn't see the mole and I gave you the gopher. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household <laughs> as they frequently feed on them other pests such as mice and hobs. What are hobs? But the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to dangerous accidents and slippage if not properly cleaned after. Should you wish to remove a stair slug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with a thick barrier of salt. Do not attempt to apply salt directly. After the slug has dehydrated itself, you can dispose of its body. Oh, that's so cruel. Even for a sl stair slug. Oh, here's a pipe hop. Okay, but first... The call. I, I'm having a job to do, I know. Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Alright. Please hold. Uh, probably not ticks, right? Uh, illness, fever, headaches. No, no. He was sneezing. Hmm. What 
What's a pipe hob? Pipe hobs are subspecies of hob that are known for making homes inside tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear no false face and are much smaller than most hobs. What? I I don't even know what a hob is. They will commonly emerge from their home at night and consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area, cleaning it in the process. That's amazing. Pipe hops are not a direct danger to humans, but their physical presence can sometimes cause leaks or clogs over time. If provoked, they are also capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis. Oh, by leaving out a clipping of hair near their homes at night. Pipe growth. Uh, a type of fungus that are known for making homes inside damp tube-like structures such as pipes. Pipe growths often grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit and will therefore clog the pipe indefinitely until their removal. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? House fires. No, no. Um, fracture hob? No. False speed? Oh my god. This is hilarious. Desk hob, common hob. <laughs> I just. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Carbon monoxide. Homos affected by will often report headaches, dizziness, or lethargy. No, no. Um, bed teeth. What? Um, how? Allergic reactions. Okay, yeah. I was thinking it, but I wanted to look at some of the freakier stuff. So it's... No. Um, there you go. So we're going more for the symptoms and stuff. I need to be more careful. And I think we have a, quite a bit time when we put them on hold. Oh. Oh. I wish I had time in between, actually. Ew, no! Hey, yeah, you back brain sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. And my whole family's sick to our stomachs and itchy as all get out. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, jerk. I don't even know what did I send him. Didn't I send him, like, moles? Bats. Yeah, they're nice. Cellar grows. Ew. Cellar grows are a large species of fungi that are known to grow in dark, damp environments such as cellars. Homeowners infested with cellar grows commonly report a slimy residue. The sound of dripping or stretching. Ooh. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, yeah. maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? I really like the voice acting in this. Um, Please hold. That's probably one of the th 5,000 hobs, right? Because they sound like fracture hobs uh, in the walls of the homes, but fractures. No, no. Didn't we have like a uh, common hob? Pipe hob? No, didn't we also have like... A common hob. Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in the household. I think they're like... Wichtel, we actually call them in German. Like small, mischievous fairy folk, you know. They are small humanoid creatures with grey burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come at at night. Are not dangerous if provoked, however. They are capable of mischievous acts. Yeah, yeah, it's really like fae folk. Um, they're also very neutral. Um... Like if you give the if the if you feed them and are nice to them, they won't be nice back. But if you're a dick, then oh boy, they will make your life a living hell. Where where do we have it? Common hop. There you go. I like that you only know at the end of the night how well you did. It's very scary, but it's a good concept. Time over here. I got these snappers itching and open and crying all over the place. 
just all over the place. I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times, and y'all haven't done a thing about it. <laughs> I don't like all those. They like the false faces. I like the the description false face is nice. That's probably the metamorphosis thing that they will pretend to be like human beings. Oof. I I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. Mm. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. Yeah, that's another hob, I think. Uh, put on hold. Please hold. Um, that could have been... Was it the fracture hob? Um, no. Did we do the desktop, maybe? Tidy their homes. In the desk. Oh, I hope they don't... That's not the one... No, but she said living room, right? So many hobs. Why are there so many hobs? Cause cracks and fractures. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. Huh. I mean, that could also be a mouse, right? But maybe not. No marks, small round droppings and sounds of squeakings. Crawling in the... Yeah, it... Let's just try that. I mean, it's probably not always supernatural entities in this game. So it stays spicy. So just scratching. Please hold. Hmm. Termites, maybe? But wouldn't they... Yeah, they wouldn't... They would probably have more... And uh, you know when you have a raccoon. They're just chaos goblins. Hmm. Pipe growth? No. Mole is not in inside the house. House spider is just adorable, right? I mean, they're amazing. They keep it, your house clean from other insects. I mean, that's amazing. Okay. Fracture hob? No. Frozen pipes? Uh, no. False... What's the, about the false beat? Beat like that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. <laughs> Most beets are harmless unless eaten by human, at which point they will take a root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. Ew. Um. Okay, common hob. Cockroaches, maybe? No. Cellar grows. I don't know what's... Uh, just scratching. Scratching. Faint rustling sound, maybe? Ew, what's bad teeth? No. It's a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Ew! Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as ticking or itching. Oh no! Do not like this. It's either a bat or an ant. Sounds of scratching or flapping at night and sightings of small dry pellet droppings. Well, but, but he didn't see any droppings. And it's real quiet. So I think it's the... Maybe it's it's that. Let's just do it. Oh. 
Uh, what is it? Carpenter ants. Here we go. I mean, if you don't get enough info, it could be either, actually, you know. Just because you didn't see it doesn't mean that the droppings are not there. So that's... Hmm. It was probably the bats and you just didn't see it. Yeah, I don't know how important the words are because it says rustling sound. But for me, well, it could also be like scratching. If he says it's faint, you know, don't trust. No, don't always trust what people think they heard. <laughs> Maybe I should do that though. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. Ah. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! That's a desktop. Oh my god. <laughs> Turning slowly into an expert, I guess. Please hold. Uh, because they surely do organize a desk. Sort order, sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. <laughs> it's generally much smaller and have raspy loose hair. They do not bear a false face. Look at them. Desktops are not dangerous to humans if left unprovoked. Like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphosing. What is metamorphosing? Desktops cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further danger, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night before going to bed. Also, maybe if you don't play nice with them, they will turn into monsters? Is that the metamorphosis thing? Accu Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, what? This is amazing! Alright! Tuesday, complete your second day on the job. Can I save and then play another game later or can continue later on? Because I would love that. Okay. If I say, if I log out, it will save. And then I can continue the next time. Oh, that is amazing. I'm in love. I love this. And I know the hype is real. I mean, um, I expected this already because I saw that it was basically desktop horror and a lot about reading and cool concepts. And the cool thing about that is that you can put so many interesting, funny ideas and you can very well mix very horrific, terrifying things with funny things as well. Because you have this vast array. So this is, it's like an, anth an anthology, you know. Sorry, I don't know. It's not burping. It's more like the old people thing where you... <laughs> it's when I drink too much water. That, that's what happens then. Anyways, um, yeah, I love this. I think the imagery is beautiful. The concepts are fantastic. I like that with the hops, you already have like a full lore. I mean, that's already... It's For me, it's fey folk. Basically, it's fairies and kobolds and stuff like that because they really behave like that, that trickster figures, you know. They're neither good or bad, but it really depends how you treat them. And then you have weird stuff like the fungi that are their own species, and then you obviously, like, the snail is on a different plane of... Then the, the teeth fungi was disgusting, horrible, horrifying, really. Um, but I really love the whole thing, and I love that you actually get updates. Like, if you give a bad tip, <laughs> you get an update occasionally. And then you get those weird calls from probably the entities themselves. So this is so rich, you know, uh, and knowing that, I mean, I barely graced the, the beginning of it. If the game is about two to three hours long, you know, um, then truly, you know, we're maybe one, one I, I know that the three hours are more for like when you really go for the full playthrough and I don't know how many days you actually play through for this. Um, but I think this will be probably the first episode of three or four episodes, you know, and I'm in love. Like, I have nothing to, to criticize. The concept is amazing. It's very interesting. I love the gameplay. Um, it's cool that you have this, you know, that you have to find out the right monsters. And I'm quite sure as soon as you have everything unlocked, so the last couple of days will be hell. But maybe not, because then you already know your different species and then you're like oh they clean up that has to be a hob oh one of them you know because i'm already starting like this and i think the clustering of the different entities is such a smart idea and then to mix them with just normal you know insects and and rodents and stuff is it's chef's kiss it really is it's a beautiful game and i'm so looking forward to it 
um, of all the entities we had, which one would freak you out the most? For me, hands down, no contestant currently, the teeth fungi. Oh no, <laughs> that's just like, like a mushroom, a fungi that looks like a tooth that's just disgusting on so many levels. I just, I don't even want to, I don't even want to think about it more than, than necessary. It's, it's amazing. It is brilliant. I hate it so much. But what would you, what, what you, of the ones we read out loud where I actually got the time to, to delve into, what would freak you out the most? Um, I really want to know. Also, if you're new to this channel, you know, I play a lot of uh, short indie horror games and I talk a lot. Um, but, you know, that's what Let's Plays are for at least the ones that I do. Um, so if you enjoyed that, you know, feel free to subscribe. And I promise you, if I call you and you give me the wrong info, because as I can tell, this is a free hotline, it's fine, you know. I mean, I will call again and ask, you know, and we'll say it didn't work out, so can you maybe help me again? But I will not insult you or anything, because honestly, it can happen. I mean, working in any support, it's just, it sucks. I mean, your customer support is just people are so so horrible you know so always treat customer service nicely that's my my premise unless they get rude first but that's rarely the case so yeah uh subscribe <laughs> anyways i hope you had a good time i hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you next time bye this is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.